Hello, welcome, bienvenue to this new training powered by Eco Green Energy. So today we'll see an essential point in some raw material of the solar panel and we'll discuss about the cells. So we'll di differentiate the grade ABC of cells in order to understand how this can influence the panel, the panel cost, the panel selling price and what does it mean exactly. So first of all, what we have to understand is that the cells are the very highest value in the solar panel. It's value to 60 or 70 percent of the total cost of the solar panel. So it's a key point in the solar panel. As we know, the solar panel industry, for those who know or who don't know, it's very competitive. Only in China we have about 200 competitors. And sometimes price matters a lot. I mean, most of the time price matters a lot. But it depends if we compare Apple with Apple. So this is what we are trying to see now, how the cells can influence the price and how it can influence the solar panel. The secondary point is that we have seen over the years and the past years that many have been using, unfortunately, lower grade cells to compete on the same game, which finally it's not the same product. But clients don't know it. And that's why we're here to teach and explain to clients what does it mean and how it can at the end interfere in the final product and production of the power that they will get of the solar panel. This is why today we want to focus on what is grade A, B, C on sales and to see how we can explain well to the client and how we can first understand ourselves what does it mean. So first of all, you have to understand that the, we have in our factory testing equipment for sales. So this the testing equipment will test the efficiency, the color, the defect, and to recognize and separate which cells is for what purpose. So still some factories do not have this kind of uh, testing machine or sorting machine that we have. Some do have also, but do not use, uh, because let's be honest, it's a cost. And you know, when you sort the cells, you also degrade some cells. So when you sort, you also lose some cells, which is also a cost. So it's important to understand all this point. So first of all, let's see how we define a grade A cells. Grade A, I think we understand clearly that it's an A cells, no defect, no visual defect, uh, and really the high power with no micro cracks. So which means we will do an EL test to check if the cells have micro cracks, so, which means cracks that are not visible by the eyes, but only by the EL machine. Then, of course, uh, the power must be efficient and not color difference. Uh, this is what defines a grade A cells. The grade A cells is the same for mono and poly. We do not differentiate grade A from mono and poly, which is very important. So including 5BB, 9BB, 10BB, no matter what technology of cells, we still use the same evaluation to evaluate what is grade A cells. So you can read on the PPT all the details of the grade A cells uh, that we are seeing now. But be careful on one point. Let's be clear. Grade A cells means good appearance and means good power. But in some case, we can use grade A cells with lower power and efficiency to put in the panel and claim that the panel is this power. For example, I will use grade A cells 18.5% efficiency poly for the panel that should be 330 watt. But if I use this efficiency of cells, the power of my panel will be 320 watt. So then there's still a game of using A cells, but lower efficiency than what we promise on the panel. Be careful, still happens a lot. Then the grade B cells. So what we can see on the grade B cells is that there is some slightly tiny defect that are visible by the eye and sometimes not visible by the eye uh, with some missing print, slide band, uh, and a little color deviation. Of course, there might be some micro scratch that can be acceptable according to all standard of grade B cells. 
You have to know that steel grade B are very well used by many brands, including tier one. Be aware that Evan grade B are hot product in the market and they are still in high demand because from grade A to grade B, they can be a different price from 20 to 25% difference. So which can then influence the final price of the selling on the panel. This is why many producers of sales keep their grade B for themselves because they want to be competitive when they sell their own solar panel. So keep an eye on that. And then of course, grade C sales. So grade C sales, as the name says, it is grade C, it means there is visible defect. There might be some tape on the cells to stick the cells together. There might be some micro crack visible and crack visible, scratching, color deviation. So all the things that we didn't have in grade A and B. Grade C cells are still also in demand for third developed country that country that do not allow a certain level of price that we sell, for example, in Europe or Latin America. So, uh, of course, EG is not doing this. What we are doing, once we get sales, once we solve the sales and we have great C, we do not keep them, always throw them away or we resell them to some other people who need it. We do not produce panel with grade C cells. It's important for you to understand and to know. While still many use grade C. Okay, so you have to be understanding that. This is why it's very important to know when clients talk to you about price level, that you are sure you know what kind of quality of cells are being used in the price that they are comparing you with. So to summarize and how to make sure that we are talking about the same product that what we are producing on a grade A level. First of all, make sure of the bone, the bill of material. So you have to make sure what cells they're using, what brand of cells they're using, grade A, grade B, grade C. Then of course, the rest of the materials that we'll see in another training presentation, EVA, TPT, glass, etc. Then we need to know if the client know how the factory select the cells how they grade the cells, what kind of cells they're using, because there's also differentiation. Now there's ABC that we're talking, which are the most famous, but even some people use A minus, B minus, B plus, but we'll stick to st some specific reg ABC. Then what you have to double check is that when client is buying the panels that he get a full report and that he get a transparent report or transparent picture what he received as a product and what he will get as a power. And you have to use those questions very well when you question your client about the price difference because of course we have been hearing very different counter offer, even people offering 10% cheaper than us, even 20%, then we know that something is not right because if we all use the same quality of material, there cannot be such a gap. That's why you need to know your product. You need to know what question to ask to your client so you can be sure that the client get the product he's really buying and that he can really compare our product with this product. Thank you very much for this training and let's see another training next time. Thank you.